Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The rate of change indicator or ROC is a pure momentum oscillator. It's also called simply momentum. It measures the percent change in price from one period to the next. The ROC calculation compares the current price with the price X periods ago. Now let's go ahead and load one up on this chart of Cato here at StockCharts.com. First of all, let's go down to Indicators. Click on the box there and scroll down to the R's where you will see Rate of Change ROC click that. Okay, as you can see it's set at a period of 12 day look back. So it's measuring the rate of change over the last 12 days. So let's go ahead and load up an exponential moving average at the same period. Okay, so we're looking for a 12 period EMA. Let's go ahead and click update and here's our chart. The plot forms an oscillator that fluctuates above and below the zero line as the rate of change moves from positive to negative. As a momentum oscillator, signals include center line crossovers and overbought or oversold conditions. Now generally speaking, prices are rising as long as the ROC is above zero. And conversely, prices are falling when the ROC is below zero. ROC expands into positive territory as the advance accelerates. And ROC also dives deeper into negative territory as a decline accelerates. Now let's see how ROC12 affects CATO. Okay, as you can see, the trend is down. The 12 EMA says that. Okay, right here it turns up. Right here the ROC starts turning up. As soon as it crosses up through zero saying the stock is in an uptrend, which it is, it goes ballistic. It goes even more vertical, okay, as it breaks out to new highs above this area of resistance on a bullish cup and handle chart pattern. Okay, now in the downtrend, look at how much trouble it had getting above the zero line. Okay, and, and you know the tops were all headed down. Okay, so it was obviously having trouble. As soon as you get above the zero line and find support, that's when a stock is still in an uptrend. As long as it's above the zero line, rate of change says the stock is trending up. Now let's take a look at AMD and ROC12. For four months, it's not doing much. It's just basically running flat with a sideways bias. A little bit of up, but more down. The lows are lower, the highs are lower. Okay, so ROC is just up and down through the zero line, showing that when it's going up, you know, it's it's going up. When it's when it's going down, it's going down. Then all of a sudden we get some volume. Biggest white candle so far on this chart. Rate of change kind of changes here. It goes from being more under to being more over from this point on. So that little volume spike sent it over the zero line which was the beginning of more volume another pretty big day and then even more volume on the breakout above all resistance you got huge volume that day that closed right here and you know that's a big day so it had a couple more really big volume up days okay but at this point right here this was the last time rate of change was below zero. So it said that the stock was trending up beginning right here on this white candle. 
So if you use it as a buy signal, you know, a lot of whipsaw right here, you would have had three or four entries that would have failed. But on this one right here, it would have worked beautifully. You would have been in before the breakout of the double bottom chart pattern shaped like a W that broke above neckline resistance right here on huge volume, which is exactly what you want to see. This is a blue sky breakout above all resistance. So from this point here until this point right here, ROC said the stock was in an uptrend. And basically that was just a tiny dip below zero. And then for the most part, it stayed above it. All this distance right to the end when big volume sent it breaking out again into blue sky territory above this level of resistance and closed just above there. Now let's take a look at HXM. This stock is what I call corner to corner down. Can't get above the 12 exponential moving average at all and, and maintain it. ROC says it can't get above the zero line into showing an uptrend. It does show a lot of momentum on these big falls right here, though. You know, this was a momentum fall, and it shows up here. The only time it really gets above the zero line is right here on that big volume day with the doji candlestick, this white doji right here. Now let's take a look at VASC. The stock was in an uptrend right here according to the 12 EMA, but the tops on ROC 12 were down. That's a bearish divergence. Then the big gap down on bad news or bad earnings and huge volume and the ROC goes below the zero line showing it's in a downtrend. It tries to get up above it a couple, three times and fails. So the stock is in a downtrend. Okay, but right here is where things change. ROC gets above zero on huge volume on a huge white candle for two days in a row that clears all resistance in this area. So that's what you want to see. A, this is a momentum move. Okay, right here it shows it going negative, but back below zero. And the stock is in a downtrend. It tries to get up above it just once, then two more times in this area, and fails. And this is where it changes to bullishness again. Strong momentum off of the high volume bottom candle with a big lower wick. Right here, it breaks up through the zero line, showing that it is in an uptrend, and the 12 EME agrees. And it's a very powerful momentum move. Nice double bottom chart pattern right here with the second part of the W, the bottom of the W right there. Neckline resistance was right here. And it broke above it on huge volume this day right here. Exactly what you want to see. And the momentum, the white candles continued for 10 days with only one day red. Okay, so that was a very powerful momentum move. Right here it shows it topping out and coming back down, but finding support at the zero, away above zero. So that's saying it was still in an uptrend. And two days of big green volume send it almost into blue sky territory, above this resistance, but not quite above here. Now let's take a look at GSVC. The stock is in a multi-month downtrend. It only has a slight uptick on the 12 EMA once. Then right here, things change. Instead of spending all its time below the zero line, it gets above it. It breaks out to the highest level on this chart. That's a strong momentum move on good volume for three days that sends it up above all resistance, up, clears everything in this area. Oh, next resistance is right here. Okay, so that's bullish. Forms a perfect doji at the top. Pulls back about 50%. Okay, rate of change says it's below zero from here to there. Here's your next buy signal. When it crosses up, okay, it's already, the stock is trending up. Rate of change says up. 
it says it's seriously in an uptrend with some momentum above zero right here in the eight dollar range eight to eight twenty five and it runs to over nine dollars and fifty cents